Hey you guys, um, I found this HP tower, I forget what the, to the tower is called, but it has 3rd gen intel, it has an i5-3470 in there. I got this for $40 off of offer up, which was a crazy deal for 3rd gen intel. I usually only see 2nd gen out there, and that's what I've been having. An i5-3470 with an OpenGL of 4.2, these are 4 cores, uh, 4 gigs of RAM, and I I I needed to get it to see if uh, an upgraded CPU is all I needed to play better GameCube and better PS2 because that's those are the systems I haven't been emu able to emulate it with the systems I have now which have second gen Intel. So on the Batasera website, it has GameCube playable at 3.3 OpenGL, and that's what second gen Intel has. So, with that being said, OpenGL 4.2, big upgrade, almost a full digit, I guess, if you want to say, I don't know. Um, it has to play well, right? That's what I'm thinking. Well, in the video, you're going to see you, there's still some crunch sounds that you heard in my last videos with GameCube, but much, much better. I just die a lot because I suck at Smash Brothers. It's not the game I grew up with. I'm not good at it. Get a Marvel Capcom, not good at Smash Brothers. It is what it is. Plays GameCube fairly well. So, in my assumption, if you have a good CPU, I think GameCube will run just fine. Maybe 4th gen Intel, or maybe an i7 from 3rd gen, but I don't think the i7 will make that big of a difference. The big difference was coming from 2nd gen Intel CPUs to 3rd gen, the 300, the 3000 series. I think that's that's what brought it over the top. Now with PS2 on the other hand, I think I'm going to need to get a good graphics card. Because I saw some Amazon, I was actually thinking of buying a GT730. They have it for like $50 on Amazon. Then, I, I don't think that's going to be enough because it has the same OpenGL level as this CPU. Uh, it's on the description thing. I don't think the GT 1030 would do enough for PS2. I would have to get a GTX 1050, even a new 1650, to get PS2 running. Those aren't bad. I put a bid up on eBay uh, for a GTX 1050 Ti for $60. I haven't been outbid yet. Uh, the bid ends in two days. If I don't get it, my heart's not broken. It is what it is. I'm not in a hurry. If it fall, like this one fell into my lap. So my assumption is a lot of offices are liquidating their their computers or a lot of them are shutting down. I don't know what's going on, but I, this was not the only third gen uh, Intel CPU tower I have seen out in the wild. Forty dollars, I saw them for fifty. Sixty is good. I wouldn't go above sixty. I would just try to hustle them down to fifty. Fifty, sixty, uh, seventy way. No, 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 no. Forty. I jumped on it. I didn't even hesitate. I just grabbed it, made sure it ran, and took it home. And I put this on. This is all in one day. A lot of my systems aren't scraped. I forgot to put the images in there, but it is what it is. GameCube runs alright. Some sounds crunches happen, but way better than the second day. It's 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 night. It's almost night and day. The sound crunches happen in the usual spots. Uh, when you win the match, your stats come up. But then that's about it. I didn't hear it at all during matches. Mainly through some of the menus. Some, not even all of them. Which was awesome. We went to the second stage where there's four, four players going on. It was going on, no problem. Main, Killer Instinct 1 and 2. Worked fine, full speed. Um, PS2, no. PS2 is going to need a graphics card. It's just going to need one. It, there, there's no way 2D games like Star Street Fighter and stuff like that should run, but all the Street Fighter games on that aren't 3D on the PS2, I have them on main. I have them on a Final Burn Alpha or Final Burn Neo now, so I'm not even gonna bother putting them on there. I don't like repeating games that much. Uh, try to play Gran Turismo, one of my favorite uh, racing games, classic. No go. It started off fine, started off with the menu music going full speed, everything sounded great, and then it's flat. Um, 
cool thing about that sir I can mess with the settings on the PS2 which I will in a later video I'm gonna dedicate one just to PS2 to see if I get a GTA San Andreas and 3 running in full speed I have on second gen Intel I have gotten, gotten them to run at decent speed uh, they're just a problem with settings getting saved which was like a pain in the butt I think I can figure it out on this one um, yeah third gen Intel makes a big difference keep your get your eyes on off of uh, never like let go let's go let go never like that app offer up the Facebook marketplace uh, eBay you might see them but shipping's a real pain in the butt that's what kills the deal for me you'll find one for like thirty dollars and shipping's eighty I don't know how that works out but it is what it is alright I'm getting tired of hearing my own voice um, if you have any games on be played on GameCube or or anything done on this particular model PC I have which has third gen I still have my second gen uh, Intel PC laying around, uh, still around. Yeah, so any questions, comments, like, subscribe, all that stuff. Alright, well.